Hey folks, it's Jelly Beans here. I'm sitting in a little ditch that I've always wanted to come sit in, even though it's in the shade. The sun's up there, but I thought I'd do a, a video in a ditch today. <laughs> and I'm gonna talk to you, talk, we're gonna discuss the 12 tribes, and we're gonna discuss if it's easy to leave the 12 tribes once you've joined. Um, so that's the topic of today's conversation. Um, so I was in the cult, little background here, I was in the cult for about eight years, that was about and I left about six years ago. Um, I had two kids, I got married in the cult, I had two kids, and I spent a good chunk of my college, after college years there, in that place. Um, so I experienced a lot, I learned a lot, I went through a lot, I saw a lot, and I um, learned a heck of a lot. And so now I'm really grateful to be out of it, and I'm here to pass on my experience slash understanding of that whole place and their ability to manipulate and control people and uh, coerce them into joining. Um, so here we are in this little ditch and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos and I've got other videos about this place too, 12 tribes. I've got one about um, what drew me in and what what like what it actually is and is it a cult, just different videos about 12 tribes if you're interested about that. But I also have videos about dreadlocks and dog care and child care and some really cool live music videos as well. And I shoot them all on my Insta360 camera, so I've got some pretty neat angles there going on. So make sure to comment below if you have anything to say to me. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to get to know you. And subscribe to my channel, like my video, and let's get down to this. So, is it easy to leave the 12 tribes once you've joined? Hmm, let's think about that. No, it is not easy to leave. It's so hard to leave that place. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to leave. Like, okay. So basically, once you join, you choose to join for life. They like, they call it a covenant. It's very serious. You give up all your stuff. That is your life now. So that's what you've like agreed to, basically, that you're not gonna, you can cut off, cut off people from outside of there. Like, don't think the way you think anymore. Oh. I just bit my lip. Mm, that smarts. Howie. Gum. Um, so yeah. So that's what you've decided to do if you if you join that place is to give up all that stuff and do what they do. So if you leave there, it's a serious thing, right? So in my experience, I actually left. We left because we were kicked out. Um, my husband left three years before. And then I wasn't doing well, and so the elders told me that me and my kids had to go, had to leave the community. And I was like really distraught about it. I didn't want to go. But that's what the elders told me, so that's what we did. We ended up joining my, what then was husband, um, didn't go well at all. Um, long story right there, but not going to get into it. But um, I did not want to go. So, but I'm really grateful that we did, because if I didn't, who knows if I'd still be there or not, but whew, man, I'm really glad to have my freedom. But for me, it was a different thing. But a lot of people, when they leave, they oftentimes seem to leave at night. Like, they have to kind of just sneak out of there, um, which is really intense. I remember, like, at least five or six, I don't even know how many, five, six, ten people left over the course of time when I was there. And it was always like this, like dramatic, stealthy, like, thought to be rebellious way of going. Um, no one just was like, hey, bye, and everyone like says bye and like gives their pardons. No, it was always like undercover and, and, and quiet and like, and all of the rest of the community would think of this person as like rebellious, like needing to be disciplined, like cut off from God, like, in the evil one's presence, like there's a lot, you know what I'm saying? So everyone in the cult thinks of this person as you can't talk to them. And we're actually told not to talk to people who leave because we don't want their spirit to like infect the people inside, you know? Um, so it's very um, secluded if you leave. Um, and you're, you're also very, you're just ostracized. You're just not able to be a part of anything or have any communication or anything like that. Um, um, 
so that's like kind of the basics of if you want to leave just I mean it's, it's really hard to get out of there for sure um, I mean if you wanted to leave you could express that to the to the elders and you could have meetings about it and stuff but they just don't let people just freely go there's always consequences there's always like they have their tentacles once you decide to be in that cult they, they get their tentacles on you and the longer you're there the more ha they have on you and it's just really hard um, to get out of there so in my experience after I was gone like shortly after it was really intense because well I didn't want to be out of there but all the things that we've heard when we were in the group we heard that like people died and like got their heads chopped off and like you had all these freak accidents when they left because it was God like disciplining them and stuff like that so like for me when I when I just left I remember it, there was so much fear running through my body like it was hard to even function because I didn't trust anyone not even myself because at that point I'd learned I hadn't even learned how to make my own decisions like I let all my decision power be in the hands of these people in the group so I didn't even know how to make my own decisions like I didn't trust doctors I didn't trust my parents I didn't trust my friends I didn't trust any authorities like I was just a scared little weasel <laughs> with two kids out in the world like like oh it was intense and thankfully I, I got to a really wonderful caring it was like this wonderful home in, in Minnesota called Peace House and like it was totally like a refuge for me and my kids to be able to stay there for actually a couple of years while we were able to heal from all that trauma and stuff um and that you know that was an amazing amazing thing that I, we found and we're so grateful for it but it was it was a really difficult time because all of the teachings and the things that we learned throughout those years were just in my brain in my body in my heart like just tugging me and tugging me and I was just like not able to function because of fear so even though we were gone oh man I was still trying to take that life with me because that's the only thing that I believed was good at that time and it was just like man looking back it's just like so basically to put it in a nutshell it is so not easy to leave the 12 tribes so if you are considering going there like really consider it I'm not gonna tell you not to but I'm definitely not gonna tell you to go because I had a very intense experience there and I do not wish that on anybody else um, and if you have a loved one who is involved in the 12 tribes all I can tell you is just be supportive of them no matter what they say or do just let them know that you're there for them no matter what and do that because that's the only way that you're going to be able to really connect with them again <laughs> um, anyways so yeah that's my story and I'm sticking to it and make sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel and I will check you out check out the links below check out the other videos I got going on and we will see you again. Okay, hope everybody the best.